stress affects us on a daily basis. And as we are going through that stressful situation, we start feeling the constant pressure. We start sweating. And if it continues throughout the day, it starts affecting our concentration, which then affects our performances at work or our relationship with other people. And if it has been going long enough in our lifetime, then it might have an effect on our physical appearances. So we start looking older than we actually are. And in some serious cases, the stress can even lead to the psychological diseases and them having the fatal outcome as the result. Researchers have found out that the stress affects materials the same way it affects people. World consciousness, however, has been awakening and we have started researching, developing and implementing all kinds of green technologies into all aspects of our lives, electrical vehicles being only one part of them. It has been stated that the stress affects magnetic materials by introducing magnetic losses. And those losses are responsible for the heating, aging, reduced performance, and the life cycle of the material itself. On the slide here, we can see that a man is clearly irritated by the presence of a bee. However, we don't see a bee on the second image, but we do see that a man is still irritated and stressed. The same kind of the relationship or behavior can be seen in the hysteresis loop. Hysteresis losses being the greatest portion of the magnetic losses are basically showing us that even though the excitation has been removed, the magnetic field being turned off, there is still remnant magnetization shown or left in the magnetic material. The aim of my PhD research is to investigate the effect of strain on magnetic losses by developing micromagnetic model, which will be helpful in calculations and simulations of the uh, effects of stress. This will facilitate the uh, better design of the steel-based materials, the better tailoring processes of magnetic property, and the new non-destructive testing techniques. However, the uh, main objective is to try and incorporate the stress factor into the existing mathematical equations for the loss calculations. By doing these kind of researches and researching these kind of technologies, we are aiming to improve our life cycle, cycle of our planet and the materials themselves.